Lottery winners are being called losers, and you could be cheated out of millions. Eight on your side is uncovering a lottery ripoff involving dishonest store clerks. Peter Bernard is on the night beat in Clearwater tonight. Peter. Hi there, Josh. Dreams of instant millions is why many people play the lottery, and of course, those scratch-off makes good stocking stuffers. But beware, next time you're told you're not a winner. Adel Massad and Mikhail Papajiru are accused of telling an undercover investigator her winning ticket was worth nothing or only five bucks. I found Mikhail behind the counter of TLC Food Mart in Gulfport. That was my first time. That was by mistake. You told somebody that it wasn't a winner and it was a winner. That was a mistake. Yeah. I threw away in the carpet. The store's lottery computer is gone, taken after Mikhail's arrest. I was honest in all my life. I grew up my kids. Honesty, everything, I'm honest. At the Sam Sunoco near the Trop, Adele Massad is no longer working here. He never worked in here again. So he's fired? Yeah, he's fired. Investigators allowed the store to keep their lottery machine, providing Massad got canned. He paid already $5 for her, and she takes the money, mm -hmm. she went out, and after that, the undercover comes in here. Problem is, the winning ticket was worth $2,000. The best way to prevent a lottery ripoff, scan your ticket at the self-scanner. We encourage everybody, as soon as they get that ticket, to sign the ticket, and that way it ensures that you're the only one that can cash that ticket. The good news is less than 3% of retailers are caught scamming people. You can ask for your ticket back um, and take your ticket somewhere else for a check. Take it somewhere else. Lottery conducts this kind of undercover operations all across the state. Clerks that are caught are charged with grand theft. Josh? Boy, that's frustrating if you're truly a winner. Peter Bernard on the night beat tonight. Thank you, Peter.